Another video brought to you by FixEasy.com. Looks like today we're going to be working on an Amazon Kindle Fire HD 7.0. Before we get started, let's go ahead and review our suggested tools for this repair. T5 Torx screwdriver, small Phillips screwdriver, plastic opening tools, a spudger, fine tipped curved tweezers, a heat gun or a blow dryer. To begin our entry into our Kindle, we want to try to work on peeling off the back cover, starting with our plastic opening tool in the seam that surrounds the perimeter of the Kindle. Gently slip the tip of our plastic opening tool into the seam and using a gentle prying motion, you should start to separate the clips that hold that back cover onto the Kindle. Working yourself around the entire unit should free up the back cover for removal. With our back cover removed, we can go ahead and start working on the four Phillips screws at the corners of our Kindle to begin our entry into the replacement of our display assembly. Let's move on now to our motherboard screws, unplugging our speaker connection to access our first, and then working ourselves around the entire motherboard, removing all of the securing screws. Let's work now towards the removal of our battery, starting with the single T5 Torx bit screw that re requires a specific screwdriver for removal and then we can address the other four Phillips screws that secured into place. Don't forget to peel the wire out of its channel in the metal cover for the battery. And now we can back out the plug connection at the motherboard and remove the battery from the Kindle. Let's now peel up on all of our connections at our motherboard so that we can prepare for removal. When addressing the ribbon wire for our headphone jack assembly, be certain to unlock the locking socket before removing this cable from our motherboard. Let's now go ahead and lift our motherboard out of the Kindle. There's a single securing screw down by our camera that needs to be removed. If you remove the speaker with the single Phillips screw securing it, you will see an antenna located under this piece. We need to peel up on this antenna, releasing the framework from our display assembly. Let's now get our headphone jack out of the way, release the two locks for each of the ribbon cables to peel those back from the assembly. And remove the final Phillips screw that's securing it into place to remove our assembly. The separation of our framework from our display assembly should be just minor prying and slight maneuvering around our ribbon cables. If you're watching this video and you've made it this far, it's likely that you have a broken LCD or front touch screen. You'll notice our Kindle does not have a broken glass. It's not recommended to do this procedure as you might cause damage to your display assembly. To begin the separation of your display assembly from the plastic frame, you're going to start with your heat gun or blow dryer and heat up the adhesive that secures the display assembly to that plastic frame. About one to two minutes of heat should suffice. And then you're going to use a little bit of patience as well as a spudger to begin to separate the plastic frame from your display assembly for replacement. After the installation of our replacement part from FixEasy.com, to reassemble, we're going to do every step in reverse exactly the way we disassembled. 
Let's start off by maneuvering all of our buttons and ribbon wires properly into place and then bringing our framework back in on top of our display assembly. Here is our headphone jack assembly we can secure with the two Phillips screws. Reconnect our two ribbon cables into their locking sockets. Next, let's bring in our speaker assembly and secure it with the single Phillips screw. Next, let's set our motherboard into place and be mindful of the connection. We can then begin securing the motherboard down with our Phillips screws. All of our motherboard connections are next in line, starting with the ribbon cable for the headphone jack assembly into our locking socket. The rest of our connections are push plug style that we can secure now accordingly. Securing screw in the corner of our motherboard comes with the metal cover for one of our connections. Let's not forget this cover plate when we're putting in that corner screw. We can now line up both of our speaker plug connections to our motherboard and secure those. Let's bring our battery into the body of the Kindle and fit it into its location. Push the plug into the motherboard and make sure it's secured appropriately. And begin screwing the battery down starting with our single T5 Torx bit screw. and then the rest of our securing Phillips screws. Route the wire into the channel of our battery plate. And secure the coaxial connection at the end of that wire. We can now finish with the rest of our securing Phillips screws around the perimeter of the Kindle. We are in the home stretch of our assembly. We can now bring in our back cover and begin clipping it all the way around the perimeter of the unit until it's securely in place. And we can power our Kindle on to check for full functionality. All of the replacement parts and tools that you've seen in this video today are available at www.fixez.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.